said, here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion for voiceover come from? Were you watching a certain cartoon as a kid, or was it later in life that you decided, like, I want to do this when I get older? Oh, no, it started when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, what cartoons were you watching I, that you started imitating? Uh, well, I really got into the original Looney Tunes because they were on all the time. Uh, and I also remember when I was a kid seeing Pinocchio and the sequence where Lampwick was turned into a donkey and you <laughs> see the uh, the shadow the, of the hands turning into the hooves and stuff and it scared the hell out yeah. of me and I thought, <laughs> I thought, how did a cartoon scare me? And I was fascinated by that. And and, and then I also uh, really fell in love with the Universal monster movies. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein is a film I could just watch over and over and over and over and over. And and and, and basically, I fell in love with, with with character actors and character acting. And, and uh, big fans of, of you know, Boris Karloff and all you know all of these guys. All of that then got all into this mix with uh, seeing my dad take me to see Planet of the Apes when it first came out. Oh, wow. You know, way back, yes, I am that old. Uh, and, and falling in love with the Twilight Zone and original Star Trek. And so I, I just basically immersed myself in great works of imagination. So I wanted to be part of it. Being a voice actor was just a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. A really great way to do it. And and so it just spun into that, becoming a voice actor, uh, create, being the creator and founder of soulgeek.com as well. Um, yeah, it, that's that's really what it's been all about for me. My, my love and passion for great works of imagination. It's really what it's all about. And that passion's kind of rubbed off on your son. Now he's actually doing some voiceover now that's too. That's right, know? that's right. My son, he's eight years old. He's already done five gigs. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's got his sixth one this coming week. He's working on a video game that I cannot legally tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he's following in my footsteps and that's just the greatest thing in the world. Uh, oh, I mean, you know, I think all good parents basically want their kid to surpass them. I definitely think that's going to happen. He's already, eight. He's already uh, starting to catch up. You know, yeah, yeah, he yeah. He has a lot to catch up on because you do so much. You yeah, know? He's, he's, he's an amazing little kid, apple of my eye, and uh, yeah, I, I could not be happier with where things are going with the career, with life, all of that good stuff. Very cool. Like so, stuff. Any upcoming projects you're allowed to talk about or anything? The only one that I'm allowed to talk about, I've, I've been doing quite a bit, yeah. and, and most of it I cannot talk about. Uh, it's a big thing I did a week and a half ago, and I can't say what it is. Uh, but one thing I did do recently, and it's something I'm very excited about, is uh, there's a, 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 a French television series, an animated series that's very famous in France called Sam Sam. And they did a, a feature version of it, uh, all the voice actors were recorded here in the States. It is wow. supposed to be released theatrically in Europe, and I think it's coming to home video here. I don't know. Um, but the thing that that is just so special about this project is that it's about uh, kid superheroes who are taking on this bad guy from Mars. Oh. And I was cast as the bad guy from Mars, and my son was cast as one of the superheroes. Oh, wow. So we got to work <laughs> side by side. And That's that cool. is like... Whether or not I'm, I'm basically getting a European copy on disc or so, I don't care. It's just nothing I do will ever be as special as that working is, side by side with my kid. That's awesome. That is amazing. So, well, where can people stay in touch with you? Website, social media, so when you are allowed to talk about yeah, these upcoming yeah, well, projects. They, they can find me on Facebook, they can find me on Twitter, on Instagram, and also, you know, yeah. through soulgeek.com. And for people who don't know, uh, can I talk about that yeah, for yeah, a second? Okay, great. Okay. Great. Um, uh, a, a number of years back, uh, there was a great voice actress by the name of Mary Kay Bergman. She created all the female voices for South Park. She was been in, in like some 30 animated features, 20 uh, uh, series, actually the other way around, 30, 20, anyway, uh, hundreds of commercials. Uh, she passed away in November of 1999. Uh, uh, the week before she passed, The Hollywood Reporter had nominated her as being one of the top five women in animation. She was an incredibly successful woman. Uh, at the time of her passing, again, November 99, we had been married for 10 years. And she was more than my wife, she was my best friend and a fellow geek. And we would go to conventions all over the country. We collected animation cells, we collected comic books, we had Starfleet uniforms. Uh -huh. You know, she was my geek. And when I lost her, I was basically a, a useless human being for about five years. 
and then of all people to come into my life was my old high school sweetheart. I hadn't seen her in some 26 years. She came back into my life. She helped mend a shattered heart. And the two of us created soulgeek.com in memory of my late wife. It is basically match.com for fans of sci-fi, horror, fantasy, animation, anime, manga, conventions, cosplay, I mean, you name it. If you're in a great works of imagination, it's a place to find someone to revel in it with you. My goal was basically to, you know, create couples uh, and all of and whatever legacy that creates whether they get married have kids whatever and we've had over 30 weddings three births so on wow. that they're now all a part of my wife's living legacy that's what we wanted it was just a way of making something good come out of tragedy it is 100 percent free wow. sign up find someone because it's purely a work of heart i i we are we are we're not corporate sponsored at all we're not a subdivision of any dating conglomerate that said well here's let's make a niche site for for geeks they you know that that'll be you know we're not all those angels investors who wanted to step in and turn soul geek into a into an investment yeah. property it's like no no no, no it, it's turned all that down you know it, it it's, it's just purely this work of heart that again I, I i just wanted it to be my wife's legacy so if you're if you're out there if you're looking for someone to revel in all of this with you, go to www.soulgeek.com. It's 100% free and find your soul geek. I, I, I feel lucky to have had two in my lifetime yeah. and I want other people to be just as lucky. That is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing all your stories and everything. It's inspiration. I think it's great. So.